Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. That's the first line of a cover song from a classic Emerson, Lake, and Palmer tune. Today, I'm going to show you some of the behind the scenes details of how I recreated this song in my own way. The Taylor acoustic guitar is the main guitar. The acoustic guitar is tuned to an open G. That's a D, G, D, G, B, D. The strumming pattern is mostly just a one measure phrase, which appears very pronounced at the end of the song. And you hear that over and over uh, throughout the entire song as the main strumming pattern. very beginning is the same pattern. In the second verse you have kind of a fun section like this. During the first guitar solo there is a riff that goes like this. But I've made the riff much more difficult by using a pair of strings. In this song, the slide guitar gets a lot of use as well, including the very first guitar solo. The slide guitar is tuned to normal standard E, A, D, G, B, E. In the amplifier, I like to have a lot of gain, but not a lot of buzz in the sound. I also use a lot of echo on this particular song. And that's when the other guitar solo takes over. During that last section of the song where it just sounds like everything is crashing and falling apart, burning to the ground, I'm playing something like this. The hardest lick to play on the slide guitar was where I'm trying to copy the lead guitar in his. However, I'm trying to play it with a slide an octave higher. It's very irritating on purpose. For the second guitar solo of the song, I'm using an Ibanez with humbucker pickups. But the real star of the sound is a heavy metal distortion pedal. This pedal is made by Hardwire. It's called their TL2 Metal Distortion. It gives a lot of gain and a lot of sustain for the sound. So it turns this sound into this. <laughs> You will also hear this guitar being used in the final melody solo like this. But it may be slightly overlooked in the verse right before that when things are getting real diabolical. You will hear this guitar playing a couple of bends. From time to time, I will change the tuning on the guitar, and in this case, I used a tuning that facilitates close intervals. What I did was I replaced the D string with a second G string. In the song, you will hear this Stratocaster tuned to the following notes. D, G, 
G, A, B, and D. So it's kind of like an open G tuning, like the acoustic guitar, but with that second G string. For the Stratocaster guitar, I decided to use the following effects. The Boss Super Chorus, which adds on a nice swirly sound. Also, the, the Boss Flanger, a little bit faster pace there, and a DoD Delay, which kind of comes off Kind of comes off more like a, a reverb. And so we turn on all three at once, and it sounds like this. In my arrangement of the song, this guitar first appears during the guitar solo. The chords during this guitar solo are A flat to B flat, then C sus to C, then you do A flat, B flat, and then G sus to G. Okay, and there's a few more chords. During the verse about Alexander's ragtime band, you will hear me playing harmonics like this. You will also hear this at the very end of the song. Bom, 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 bom. And this guitar, this guitar is playing. Like that. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes look at my version of Carnival 9 First Impression Part 2. See you next time. I think I got one good one in there anyhow, didn't I? <laughs>